Hi, this is Katie Kahn. In this episode of the But Wait, There's More commercial from Hell, I will go over the brake situation in Althea, a 1973 Winnebago Brave. When my husband, Rallis, was checking out the brakes, he noticed that the brake booster was leaking fluid, which is particularly bad because there shouldn't even be any fluid in the booster to be leaking. We planned to bring Althea to a professional, but the amazing members of ClassicWinnebagos.com convinced us that we could do the work ourselves. And we did get help from a friend who's a mechanic. A new brake booster was easy to find, and hey, why not replace the master cylinder too while we're at it? A quick search on eBay and we were in business. We are going to have to bleed and fill the brake lines eventually, but the fill location is at the top of the master cylinder, which is right up against the floor of the motorhome. So we went ahead and did a little modification that seems to be popular among classic Winnebago owners. We picked up a 9x9 metal hatch door from Home Depot and used a drill and sawzall to cut through the floor near the driver's seat, which is just thin sheet metal sandwiched over thermo panel. Now accessing the master cylinder and brake booster will be easy and convenient. When we pulled the old master cylinder, our friend saw that the front chamber was empty, so he suggested we check the brake cylinders on the drums. Sure enough, those needed to be replaced. We were able to find replacements from Napa, but they weren't Dodge parts, they were Mercury. Go figure. We dropped the front axle and picked up a drum brake spring kit from Napa to replace all of the rusty old springs. But it turns out that kit doesn't come with a spring for the self-adjuster cable, which is the one part that we broke. Do not try to replace springs with a screwdriver or pliers. Just don't do it. You can get a brake spring tool kit at Harbor Freight for 20 bucks and save yourself the grief. So, another internet search and another trip back to Napa and a swing through Harbor Freight for the spring tool kit and we were back to work. Now we have to finish cleaning the axle so we can drop it off at a local shop to have the lower ball joints replaced. I'll be out of town for a few months or the rest of the year, so these videos will be fewer and farther between, but the engine is just about ready for the rebuild, so that will be up next.